Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use um, Signal Explorer from within AllCAD Capture. So this will allow you to do some, some pre-route analysis of, of signals once you finish your circuit. Before you actually start looking at PCB, you might be able to um, fine-tune some of the, 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 the placement of components or resistor values, etc., just to, to make sure you're, you're going to get a, a better signal quality when you actually complete your board. So in this scenario, I'm going to... Um, assign an SI model to um, an input pin, an output pin and a resistor and then just run a basic reflection. So we'll descend into the hierarchy, we'll look at a pin, I've got a pin here, I'm just going to effectively select the pin, right click, SI analysis, assign SI model. So I'm going to pick a default cadence model here, I just want an output pin here, so I'm just going to pick the output pin here, um, we'll click OK, or assign model, sorry. And that will actually assign um, the output pin to that. Now you could, if you actually had the, the, the IBIS models directly from the component manufacturer, you might be able to download those and, and use those instead. But in this example, for what I want to do, the cadence models are, are good enough. So we'll click OK to that. We'll accept that one. We'll then do the resistor, right click, SI analysis, assign SI model, pick the resistor, and then we can do an auto generate here. And this just assigns a, a default eSpice model based on the resistor value. We'll do the same for the output for the input pin sorry so we'll do a, a descent hierarchy or an ascend hierarchy sorry we'll then descend the hierarchy here pick the pin si analysis assign si model pick the input pin and we'll pick a default cadence model assign the model and done we can now effectively then select the signal right mouse button and we'll do si analysis explore the signal now in this scenario i'm getting a license picker here um, I'm just going to use an AllCAD Capture license, so if you just had AllCAD Capture, this would fire up straight away and you would go straight into Signal Explorer. So once I get here, I effectively get my, my input, a bit of microstrip, my resistor, a bit of microstrip, and my output. Um, now I want to base these lengths of microstrip effectively on length rather than on time, um, more related to my PCB, so I'm going to change this by going to the circuit, the time delay mode and specifying length, and I then get this in millimeters rather than in nanoseconds. Once I'm happy with that, we can then start to maybe look at running a simulation. So I'll select the tri-state here with a left click. I'm going to make it a custom pulse based on about 100 megahertz. Uh, we'll set a pattern of 010, which will give us a square wave. We'll click OK, and then we can then run the simulation. So you can see in my input pin, I'm getting a little bit of overshoot here. So let's, uh, let's find how much I'm getting. Let's just drag up here. I'm getting about two and a half volts of overshoot, which probably isn't ideal. Um, we could cause damage to the input pin here, um, so something we might need to look at and maybe see if we can resolve. So if we go back to the, the Signal Explorer window, I'm looking at the difference from the input pin effectively um, to my resistor, or my terminate, or my, my series resistor here, 70 millimeters, 71 millimeters actually. That's quite a lot, so we probably want to maybe see if we can restrict that distance. So if I come in here and just make an edit, maybe let's make that seven and a half millimeters. Um, from the microstrip to the, or the resistor to the output pin, what we'll do here is we'll effectively say we're not too worried about this length here so we'll just specify a value of uh, maybe 150 millimeters once I've made those changes let's rerun the simulation so the overshoots come down let's uh, let's look at the input pin again there <coughs> we can look at this it's about 2.1 volts 2.2 that's not too bad it's not going to damage the pin anymore but it's probably still not ideal so let's see if we can anything else we can do here let's go back to um, the SI signal analysis again or signal explorer window and if we're looking here I've got microstrip based on 60 ohms and a resistor value based on 28 ohms um, ideally these all need to match so, so let's change the resistor value maybe let's set this to be 60 ohms and see if this can resolve the issue once we've done that let's run the simulation again That looks like it's all resolved. My input and output are, are pretty much identical, which is what I'm after. Um, I've probably resolved all of the issues here. So I can actually apply this information to the PCB designer so that he keeps the, the, the resistor or the, the, the series resistor closer to the input pin. And we can finalize the resistor value.